The next station is Reading. So I can't remember the last time we were in Reading. Must be a long time ago. Seven years or something before we moved back down to London and certainly uh, after Nottingham or before Nottingham even. I don't really remember any. Well, I do remember some of it, but I think it's been quite a few years. I know we got the bus. I wonder what's changed. Now let's discover what's new now. Oh my god, look, Wendy's is here. Is it open? Yes, I think it is. Looks like Wendy's open. I think I need to go in. We'd heard that Wendy's was here. Um, said online they were closed, but they're open. I think we've just got to, <laughs> we've got to go in. It's been 21 years since I've been to a Wendy's in the UK. Uh, it hasn't been that long, has it? Yeah, it was Bradford was the last time. Uh, yeah, before that actually, it was 23 years. I always remember the yellow wrappers. Am I, am I in it? Now it is time for us to dug in. Dig in. Now it's time for us to dig in. know that brand. They even have a Doc Martens. Oh look at the donut shop. Mm. Shall we have a we love? No.
Mmm, delicious. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Reading. <laughs> Reading's often described as the city of the future and a lot of cities in the UK get that status, well historically have been given a city status because they've got a cathedral or a minster. But Reading's got one, it's right here so I don't understand it. Reading should be a city. I spy an ice cream van. Maybe not today. <laughs> this looks like a nice bridge.
This was Debenhams? Yeah. Oh, wow. They didn't even try to scratch off the It took up a lot of space, didn't it? this and this is St. Lawrence apparently Reading Town Hall
So we've left the town centre behind and we're heading down towards um, the River Thames. We're going to be going into Caversham, which is somewhere I know rather well. Tuck's friends over there. So we're heading down towards Caversham Bridge. I said it's an area I know well. Well, a few years ago I worked for the Reading Post newspaper and at lunchtime I'd drive down to Caversham and um, either pop into Waitrose or have a coffee at Costa. And it was a nice break away. Uh, from an office where I wasn't really very happy. So, um, yeah. So, in some ways, it reminds me of a, of a bad time, but it was a good place to be for that hour every day. Wow. So I literally just turned around. Paul said, look, look. And look who's here. It's a swan. And babies. Big babies. But if that's mommy or daddy, well, there's a lot of guarding going on. It's a swan. These and swans babies. are so big. Big babies. It's the River Thames. I can remember one day at lunchtime, I drove into Caversham and saw a sign for Oxford. And I'd wanted to work for the Oxford Mail. And I thought, if I just drive down this road, 
to the point where Berkshire becomes Oxfordshire. I'm going to work for the Oxford Mail. It must have worked because I did. So where are we now? Kavasham? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Nice little places. House of Cards? Oh, Whoopies. I'm safe, right? Looks like you finished now, Marcus. Mmm, delicious. What was it? A bacon roll. A bacon roll. A bacon roll. Oh, that looks good. I have like this mango cooler. You have like the strawberry frappuccino type. Mmm, frostino. And then I have one of these cinnamon brioche buns. Mmm. Kind of like a cinnamon maybe. Time to dig in. Mmm. This is pretty good. Have you enjoyed your day out in Reading? Yeah, I did. You? Yeah, it's been a while since we've been here. But it's, yeah, it's a nice place down by the river. Lots of shops uh, in the town. And yeah, it's a, a nice day out. This is a nice summer day and it's a nice glorious day. So I think we need to do this again sometimes. Yes, we do. Have you enjoyed your day out in Reading? Yeah, I did. You? Yeah, it's been a while since we've been here. But it's, yeah, it's a nice place down by the river. Lots of shops uh, in the town. And yeah, it's a, a nice day out. This is a nice summer day and it's a nice glorious day. So I think we need to do this again sometimes. Yes, we do.
station, Twyford. To help keep you safe while traveling on TFL Red, we have enhanced cleaning regimes in place on trains and stations, and hand sanitizer available in our ticket halls. Please also wear your face covering when you're on the train and traveling through the station. Next station, West Drayton. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. <laughs> 